You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. This is CES Live. I'm standing here with Sean. I'm standing here with Renee. And we are continuing our 4K stravaganza. I don't know if that's a real word, but it should be. I'm, I'm down with it. I'm Actually, down with we're it. getting more Ks. There's just so many Ks this year. <laughs> and right now we're talking to Bill from Samsung. How are you, Bill? I'm great. How are Pleasure you guys doing? Here, Bill. Fantastic. Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Sure. Uh, so I have to ask you the question. Everyone is asking this question. I need to come home with an answer. Go. S-U-H-D. Yes. Is the S for Samsung? No. It has, uh, I, I'm losing so many bar bets right now. <laughs> well, here you go. I'm going to half answer your question right. because you're kind of <laughs> right. So S <laughs> is the designation we give at Samsung to any product that we believe is just an outlier in terms of technology and just the most jaw-dropping. S voice, S pen. Well, Tab S, S5 yeah, yeah. and whatnot. So it is a, it's a monitor that we um, use sparingly. In this case, we pull out all the stops, as you saw recently. If it's good enough for Superman, it's good enough for you, basically, exactly. right? Exactly, you right. stole my line. <laughs> <laughs> but should I call it a SUD, or should I? I mean, Has anyone said that? What's the SUD monitor? You're the first person, <laughs> <laughs> so you thank you for literally, that. You literally, you invented that How do you Don't do what I do, you're just going to annoy Samsung if you say that. SUHD, <laughs> I think, sounds better. So if people aren't familiar with SUHD, what is it? What's, what's the encapsulation of this? So first and foremost, SUHD, we believe to be the best TV viewing user interface experience out there. Let's first talk about the picture, okay? So we are using our own proprietary nanocrystal semiconductor technology. I know that's a mouthful, but nets. We're using some incredible technology that our engineers have been working on for a number of years that's going to offer you and I a picture quality 64 times more color expression. So let's just pause for 64. a second. Not 60, percent, 64 times. 64 times more color expression. And I'm pausing for effect. <laughs> because well, I'm I, my brain that. is going, how much expression can I really handle? Yeah. Well, I, I think the thing is, is like, how much color expression have you not been yes, privy to? Yes, what has been denied to, to me up exactly, until now? right? Do I see that much in real life? I mean, what, what, what's, what's, is it going to look like, is it live or is it Memorex? Is that I think the good news is, is it's going to feel natural. Okay. In other words, colors, you're going to be like, that's what an apple should look like. So we talk internally at Samsung about the ability of this technology to be able to show flames within flames. So if you pause for a second, nice. you know, and, and you guys can use that, all right? Hashtag flames <laughs> Hashtag within flames. Hashtag flames within flames, Twitter got on yes. that. But it's like just that type of subtlety. I mean, um, we we're very pleased, geeked out, to launch into the marketplace because that's just one aspect. So you have 64 times more color expression, 2.5 times brighter picture, twice as many color adjustment points, so they're serious both Well, hardware. that was a problem, right? Like, you couldn't get deep shadows and bright, like, things would get lost, the reds, right. the magenta, like, the, 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 not, it wasn't real life. You guys don't even need me here, okay? Because <laughs> you guys are chapter and verse. No. No, we have problems, <laughs> you have solutions. Yes. <laughs> Love it. But, in short, so the picture quality is going to be the best ever. Uh, we're very, very bullish of the fact that the time is now, right? People voted over 800,000 times in 2014 that they wanted a UHD device in their homes. Uh, that's an industry yeah. standard, roughly 800,000 units. I voted three times. Yeah. I didn't actually buy it, but I just voted anyway, yes. <laughs> in 2015, we think that's going to multiply by four. So if you really okay. think about it, it's at its nascency right now, but I mean, get ready for I hockey think it's, stick. I, I, so, SUHD, I'm sorry, I'm not answering your question. <laughs> SUHD, jaw dropping picture, picture that quality that you haven't even seen before. So, contrast, brightness, color, depth that you've never seen before. Sure, you maybe have seen it at the show, here or there, statement pieces, but how about in retail stores in 90 days? That's what we're going to get. So that's the picture aspect. Tizen, oh, well, I'm sorry. I want to ask, I guess, question. So, have I seen that in a movie theater? Have I seen that kind of quality? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. So that's, it's like the best digital cinema kind of experience? We believe so. Okay. okay. We believe uh, so. Just and on the comfort of your home. If, if people, because like, some people will look at this and go, well, I'm not going to buy a new TV 4K. I don't really have content yet. But uh, Samsung displays are everywhere. Even in products that don't necessarily Samsung, you guys more than likely made the panel for it. And that, it's, it's got to trickle down, right? Like this is going to affect all of us for the next few years to come. So here's the way I explain it to my family, right? Because okay, that's good. the litmus There test, you go. Right? right? Because like, I got to be real to my family. No, <laughs> honestly. So my family asked me, Bill, why UHD? Uh, as we were sitting around the Thanksgiving table. This because it paid explained. for your Thanksgiving, son. <laughs> no, I think we got the turkey for free as long as we bought the giblets or... Um, nice. <laughs> no, 
UHD, yes. The industry right now is rallying around a little bit over 500 titles. We're going to blink. There's going to be more titles. So the industry is just going to take care of all of that yeah. incredible acceleration, right? Well, that sounded really easy. Oh, they're going to take care of it. <laughs> Can you get that out a little? They're I Samsung. Think they're motivated. I think they're They'll so tell motivated. them to take care of it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, let me, I'll come back to that point in a second. So we shouldn't uh, forget about the fact that any video signal going into a Samsung UHD, particularly a Samsung SUHD device, is going to look fantastic because of our incredible upscaling abilities, right, engines. So, if you really think about it, it's the TV set of the future now. Well, I think that's an interesting point. Everyone's like, oh, it's 4K, I don't want 4K, so I can't use it. You know, it's like it doesn't fit in this, you know, <laughs> yeah. in this hole here. This, my um, room is not big enough for this TV. <laughs> but I mean, you can take a regular signal and you can make it better. It looks it amazing. Look, it oh will yeah. Look better. Yeah, right. and there's no hesitation there. It will look better. And also you won't see the pixels in it as easily. I exactly. might find that if nothing else, just give me HD without pixels. Exactly. And I'm I'm happier. You know, sure. I'm only telling you half the story though behind SUHD. Yeah, you're about to say Tizen, yeah. right? Tizen. So Go for it. We are so pumped. Sorry, can you just say what Tizen for people who are brand new and are not familiar with Tizen, <laughs> what would you say? So Tizen is an operating system launched by Samsung. It's an open source, so we encourage everyone to kind of join the party. But it's an operating system that we'll be using in all of our 2015 smart TVs. And uh, we believe this interface, this OS system, to be so incredibly fast. Well, we've seen it in watches, minimal. we've seen it in phones, maybe. Exactly, yeah. some of the gear devices right. and whatnot. But its manifestation or its horsepower showing up in our TV sets in 2015 is unreal. Let me give you two examples. Yes, please. Okay? One example is, so you have all these incredible so, uh, Samsung mobile devices, right? And now you have your new SUHD TV set, or actually any uh, smart TV in 2015 from us. The units itself, using Bluetooth low energy, will immediately initiate a discussion, a handshake. So in the past, you had to sort through menus, you had to download apps, or I'm DLNA, exaggerating now. Uh, but yeah, it's right, at least horrible. four to six touches. In 2015, if it works, smart right? TV, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's done with one touch. So that's amazing to have that type of open box experience where the units are now commuting. So okay, Bill, big deal now. Now the units are communicating, now what? Two features which I think are such a no-brainer. First one is called Brief. Mm -hmm. What Brief does is your mobile device will wake up your TV set in the morning, your Samsung TV set. It'll bring up, slowly go to bright, uh, your favorite ch channel, station. It'll mm -hmm. bring up the weather. It'll bring up your schedule and it'll bring up the uh, old information you need to get a jump start in the morning. So think about that for a second. Seeing your schedule manifest on your TV set as you kind of bleary-eyed roll over to see time to wake up. I'm I mean, not sure if I want to see that first thing in the morning. <laughs> <Actually, laughs> that's going to wake you up faster than the shower. <laughs> oh my god, I'm late. Exactly. Meeting at five. <laughs> so that's morning brief. But another cool feature is a lot of people now are multi-screens. They live multi-screen lifestyles, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you're watching a movie uh, with your family and the kids are screaming and you want to see the precious ending, right? With smart TVs from Samsung. Tell me I can put my family on pause. <laughs> no, we're working on that for okay. 16. <laughs> um, but what you'll be able to do is push content from your TV to your mobile and the other way with one swipe. So in the past, again, it was like four to six touches. It was make sure you had the app, make sure you're all connected to the same Wi-Fi network, make sure your Bluetooth is sh shaking hands. 2015 smart TV menuing system, one button. So, so you're, you're, you're going to give out. me the secret code afterwards so that I don't sling and someone else tries to beat me and then they, they're, you know, it's going to be like a little family well, battle. Well, to your point, I mean, it has the versatility of, of, of being able to um, engage up to six devices. Wow. So it's, it's just all those little creature comforts that is when it? people go, aha, I get it. Well, I have to ask the hard question because the chat room is asking this too. Is this, like, do you have to have Samsung only devices to take advantage of this or is this going to be like across all platforms? So at first, You'll have your most amazing experience on your Samsung mobile You're rewarding devices. your most loyal customers. Sure, I yeah, mean, it's, absolutely. A, it's a match made in Everyone heaven. else does it. <laughs> Why not? So, yeah. And, and is that just with the, the Tizen uh, mobile Correct. devices? Correct. Okay. On the, on, uh, I want to make sure that I'm, uh, the, for the viewers that I'm clear on this. So for Tizen-powered smart TVs for 2015. Yeah. But, if, so, but if I have a Samsung like Galaxy S4, I'm not running Tizen on the phone, Will I still get a benefit? No problem, because the interface is Bluetooth low energy, right. and then you're using Wi-Fi direct for the signal transfer or okay. any of the metadata transfer, so okay. yeah, it's just silky smooth. And again, I know you guys are crazy busy. On the floor, we have like these enclosed glass rooms to give you a little bit of a respite off the show floor to be able to experience it, because it's just cool. One of the questions that we got a lot is, and I'm sure you get this a lot, why not Android? Like Samsung does a lot of Android things. My <laughs> guess is it's nice to control your own destiny. 
So to be honest with you, that's not really my field of expertise. <laughs> you know, um, as a television geek, a te television geek guy, I just feel fortunate that our engineering team in Korea gave us this amazing platform, this amazing, you know, uh, experience. Should we even well, care about what it's running anymore? <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I, I think the industry will rally around Tizen, particularly when we really get to see the heuristics of how people are using the TVs and they love communicating with us, let us know what they love about it and sometimes what they dislike, but mostly what they love about well, it. Well, one thing too is, I mean, I do think Android TV is really beautiful. Sony's running it. Um, uh, uh, Sharp is running it, but you're kind of stuck with what Google wants it to be. I mean, you really can't innovate a lot around it, so it's like, here's the interface, I hope you like it because we're Google and this is what you've got. Whereas, if you build your own, you know, you can change it, you can all the time, you can really innovate it. Yeah, and just to riff off your comment, open source platform. Right, So, yeah. we couldn't be more clear that we want to be hugging and embracing the industry, mm -hmm. right? So, everyone so wins. We talked a lot about software, what's the hardware look like for this year? The, um, the TVs themselves, what do you? Perfect segue. So, <laughs> SUHD, well uh, and I don't know if you remember, but on Sunday night, mm -hmm. we were using very specific language and lexicon when we spoke about the launch of SUHD. We use terms like historic, we use terms like new era, evolutionary, because that's the way we truly believe this to be. So when CRTs were out there, LEDs, LCDs, you know, uh, plasma, whatever else, this is it. So we're treating it internally and in all of our discussions with our retail partners as the most incredible launch of a new TV technology. Now, to your point, because we do believe in a wide and diverse yep. assortment, our UHD TV sets, so we have SUHD, our UHD TV sets, we're going to double the assortment. I mean, uh, as we were talking about like eight minutes ago, we know that the industry is going to explode in 2015. We're going to have something for everyone in 2015 with our expanded lineup of UHD curved TV sets. I mean, we're we're ready to go. Um, I, I want to ask a couple oh, they've things. Got the, they've got, oh. They're just saying they have the big one at the Geek House. Thank you. Nice. Ugh. They love it. Bear hug. Yeah. <laughs> hug it out, guys. <laughs> Can I come uh, over? Eight, eight. <laughs> I'd come over. SUHD Star Wars. Let's get that going. <laughs> Um, Attack of the Sud. No, don't say Sud. I'm sorry. Um, He's going to get you. He's right. So I, I know. I'm just why I'm. Don't leave your mark. Um, no. So I have a question. Um, without making the audience's heads explode, um, quantum dots, nanocrystals, are these the same thing? And like, what in tell us in three seconds do they do? No, but I mean, give us an idea of like why is this just marketing schlock or is this something real? Oh, we don't think so. Uh, okay. So it's a great question. A lot of manufacturers here in Las Vegas will be launching their version of QD panels. They're going to be using okay. QD panels, launching quantum dot, this, that, or quantum the other dot. thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not doing anything close to what they're doing. I mean, okay. our approach is so different, so revolutionary, so proprietary, been in the works for a number of years. It's, uh, our approach is completely different, separate, and Again, we're really, really pumped at what the it's results are so far. Different physics? Is it? Yeah. Is it that yeah. much different? All yeah. the science. I mean, yeah. I am not an engineer, or I don't have a chemical background or anything but like that. But you play one uh, today. I on play TV. one on TV. If uh, people want to find out, if, you, if people want to find out more about all this stuff, they're super interested in it. Where can they go? So, well, obviously, Samsung.com. We have all the information there. There's a, okay. an incredible array of information that we're disclosing here. And then also, there's going to be a lot of information coming out of the UHD Alliance that we had a big part of forming that alliance because we think, again, the time is now mm -hmm. to make sure that the industry rallies around proper standards so that the shopper, the end resultant user, the people that we sit with around the Thanksgiving table mm -hmm. are having the best experience on UHD when the industry explodes. So, so. The Thanksgiving meal on the TV looks better than the one you're eating. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. That it was been great, guys. Thank you for your time. It was a blast. Thanks, guys. I didn't leave my mark. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm, I'm just going to have to get every different TV they make and put it up on a giant wall. I'm going to have a TV wall now. I mean, if you're going to be really diligent with your research, I think that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, no, it, 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 I'm going to make sure. the wall. It's going gonna, it's gonna to look like, like Rockefeller Center, I think, when I'm done with it. <laughs> All right, so I'm Renee Ritchie. I'm Sean Captain. We have tons more coming up, so don't go anywhere. This is CES Live. Very live. <laughs>